Here's the latest version of Anthony. Uh, the guts of them, at least. Rebuilt the entire chassis out of nuts and these long nuts and bolts. Um, got aluminum, square tube, and EPVC here for the platform. And some steel down below to hold the batteries. So I'll just run you through component by component. Hopefully you can see a little bit here. Shadow's not too bad. Uh, down below, two bearing blocks. Um, actually four bearing blocks. So we have differential control over the wheels. Um, no motors attached to any of the, uh, the two front wheels. Motors in the, in the rear. Um, but we have steel across the bottom. Uh, batteries here. These are actually independent of one another. They're not uh, attached in uh, parallel or series. One is dedicated to the servo. Since the servo generates um, just so much noise, I just keep it separate from the main power supply. So I've got one of these guys running to the motor controller, which is located right down here, um, next to the servo. Big uh, Servo City gearbox. Next door to the servo is a little servo controller that I put together, which is pretty much just a, a little pickaxe, eight power supply, servo connector, a couple lines coming in and out. I've got the dedicated servo power from the battery down below. Um, and then just a couple lines up to the, to the main microcontroller. So up top, one level, take a peek in there. Um, we've got the pickaxe 40, little RF link, um, crystal, nothing, nothing overly complex at this point. Pretty straightforward. Um, we've got a little webcam mounted up here, and we've got the laptop. Uh, the laptop and the pickaxe microcontrollers are not connected yet, but they will be. So let's swing around back and see if we can have a look at it. So around back. Again, we have the laptop. Um, right now it's just running RoboRoam. So we uh, can get a look at what the webcam is seeing. Uh, then down below here, we have the motor connected uh, to the rear wheel. And that's tied to these bearing blocks here so we can steer back and forth. Um, and then these control arms, which attach to the servo. Um, that servo is, you know, close to 100 pounds uh, per, per inch on the torque. I'm twisting this guy really damn hard, and it, uh, it holds steady really well, so it's, it's really ideal for this application. Um, and then for the controller right now, I've just got this, through this box together, joystick, a couple potentiometers, power switch in the rear here. Um, one of the... One of the knobs here is for the steering. So when I turn my knob, see if I can't, when I turn my knob, that's funny. Um, see if I can't get, get a little better angle here. But when I turn the potentiometer here, get a proportional uh, turn out of the rear wheel. And then uh, right next door here is the, is the speed control. So let me try and operate this sucker with one hand, see how far it'll go before it hits a wall. Got the speed way down so I don't crash. It's got a really nice turning radius about it too, so I can make those nice tight turn. So there she is, chassis rebuilt, and uh, be working on the, the integration of the laptop shortly. Hack off these useless bolts up top and, and get a shell, get a cover over it. I'm going to work with the garbage can again and probably a lot of Bondo, a lot of fiberglass.